Our Curious Cat is an innovative company uh, focused on developing technology solutions to help vets run more efficient and effective practices. Uh, and as a CEO, my role is to guide the strategic direction, lead our team, and ensure we're delivering the best possible product to our customers. And VetIQ, our new insights product, is designed to provide vets with tools they need to better serve their customers, manage their staff, and enhance their operations. And through VetIQ, we aim to bring a new level of insight and efficiency to the veterinary industry. Law Path has been good for me because I had to establish a lot of contracts early on. So there were the engagement contracts with my consultants, there were service contracts with IT companies, um, there was a review of the enormous Microsoft uh, agreement when you're trying to use their development fund. Um, so there's a lot of these types of situations that I had to either ask LawPass AI to review or a lawyer to help me with. Um, and I also wanted to establish some trademarks uh, pretty early on. Uh, and so with that, I engaged LawPath initially just for the IP review, but then I went on from there to get one of the lawyers to actually help me register some of those trademarks as well, um, who was a, a LawPath contact as well. I still use lawyers, but I use LawPath predominantly to set up my entire business framework. So in the past, I had to use a lawyer to do that, and that would take not only hours of briefing, but they would go away and I had no idea how long it was taking them or what they were really doing. Were they using a boilerplate uh, like law, law Park and then finessing it and giving it to me, or were they rewriting something from scratch? So from that perspective, in the past, I would get a, a lawyer or a team of lawyers to do pretty much what I'm using Law Path to do now, uh, where I can get all of those contracts, download them, or tweak them uh, to my own heart's content, and then push them out. Sometimes they require review, sometimes I'm comfortable with the boilerplate as it is. So the difference, I guess, is when I employed lawyers earlier, they were often billing in increments, like six minute increments, and so talking to them was costly. Uh, but that also meant that you might leave out important details. Uh, and so they may ask you questions, but you may not answer them comprehensively because you're conscious of the time it's costing you. And because of that being the top of mind, I think maybe we cut corners in some of those brief it, briefing sessions. No fault of the lawyers, the lawyers were excellent, but they can only work with what they're given. So for me, this was definitely a big change uh, with with uh, working with Allpath. I guess it's it just seems a little bit more inefficient and outdated working with uh, a traditional law firm for a lot of these essential elements of starting a business. I think it's a comprehensive range of templates. I, I appreciate the Law Path plan because it has lots of templates, but it also has backups and flexibility built in. So the templates for a start are incredibly useful because you can create legal documents quickly and efficiently. But the on bank, uh, I guess the bank of lawyers that are available as well uh, for consultation gives you that reassurance that if you want to change something or you're not sure about something, there's someone on hand that can help you. And the, the booking process for a lawyer is really easy. So if you wanted to have that consult and you needed it quickly, uh, their responsiveness is really there. So I, I love the fact that I can do my own boilerplate and download it and be done or I can tweak it and then get someone to review it just to make sure that I haven't left anything out. So um, again, very, very versatile, very flexible. It's an excellent resource uh, for getting expert legal advice when you need it. So the Law Path lawyer uh, was really helpful. Like she was super knowledgeable. She, the meeting was very productive uh, and it was a reassuring experience for me. Um, in that call, it prompted me to ask some questions related to intellectual property. Uh, and they, con they connected me with an IP specialist. Uh, she was excellent and knowledgeable and helped us quickly turn around the trademarks. Um, so I was really impressed by her expertise and efficiency of the service and how quickly I got everything done. Um, and again, how little I had to be involved uh, in the whole process. There wasn't this constant turning and throwing. It was very much, this is what I think you need to do. Are you comfortable with that? Yes, let's proceed. They took care of everything and I didn't have to worry about it. It was a very positive experience. Uh, and I think it gave me a lot of comfort and confidence in the nature of the plan that I'm, I've got with LawPath. I used the AI tool because they gave me their contract agreement. 
uh, I didn't produce one for myself. So I asked the AI engine to review it and tell me if there's anything I needed to be concerned about or required any review. Um, reassuringly, they actually handed over the IP within their own agreement. Um, so again, if I, in the past, I would engage contractors not knowing that the IP would belong with them unless it was explicitly agreed to through an IPD. I didn't know that. So for the first few years of running a business, uh, I was happily doing my own thing and they were happily owning the IP that I was paying them to build for me. So having discovered that, I was obviously a lot more cautious this time around. So that was the first thing that I asked Law Path to review. Uh, and again, I was relieved to see that that actually already said where the IP that we develop uh, while we're being paid for, by you is yours. So I didn't really have to get much else done. In terms of other agreements, I've had other so engagements where I've asked Law Path to either review those supplier agreements because they've been given to me. Uh, so they haven't been something I've generated of Law Path. Um, but I also generated all of my uh, legal terms for my website. So if you, you'll See on the website, I've got all of my software terms and all of my uh, website terms, privacy terms, uh, all inclusive and all written on, on LawPass. So really, really helpful, really, really quick in terms of getting the, the business up and running, getting my website up and running and conforming to Australian standards around privacy, cookie management, those sorts of things. So again, it's been um, really, really helpful for that. Well. You don't start a business unless you believe that it's going to do something big. So think big, I say. Uh, so in the future, I see Curious Cat continuing to innovate and expand. And we're always looking for ways to evolve our products and services to best meet the needs of the veterinary industry. One area we're particularly excited about is the potential to explore international markets. Uh, a lot of the software vendors are actually international. So that's a very exciting opportunity for us. We believe there's a tremendous opportunity to bring Vet IQ's benefits to vets around the world. Additionally, we're open to forming partnerships with other industry players, so I think that'll play a part in where we go. And by collaborating with others who share our commitment to enhancing veterinary practice, I think we can further amplify the impact of our work and continue to drive positive change in our industry. The advice I'd give someone going, coming to Law Path looking for a legal solution will be to embrace the benefits that it offers. Be realistic about the price that you're gonna pay. Uh, again, if you do the numbers, uh, a few hours with a, a lawyer will often soak up whatever fee you might pay Law Path on an annual basis. So I see it as a modern legal solution that saves time, reduces costs, provides access to a wealth of resources such as the legal templates and expert advice on calls. I would encourage people to assess their specific needs and the nature of their business before deciding on a plan. Law Pass efficiency and convenience have enhanced our operations for sure, um, and it could do the same for other businesses. They just need to really look at where they're going, have a really good plan in place, uh, and then go looking for what the legal documents are they need to achieve whatever it is that they're setting out to achieve.